Hello, aquarium lover. You're here today again, and I hope you can celebrate with me my cases on fish diseases. Because today it is my 100th case of fish diseases. Yes, so far I reached the goal to have already 100 cases worked out for you, the aquarist, the fish lover who wants to learn more. Of course, I will not stop because always I had to deal with fish diseases as a consultant, trying to take care, better care of you, to give you the extra knowledge I can share with you with my experience in my work. So happy to do today my 100th case, and it's about a Haludaria fasciata, which has an interesting mix of five question mark infections. The Haludaria fasciata is the new name of the lemon bar. Here we see it swimming. You see how skinny that fish looks. Damaged, skinny, wasting away and dying. You see some other ones look pretty healthy and active, but every day a few were getting skinnier and they were dying and wasting away. Of course, that's the time you have to take action and uh, to intervene and to sacrifice the badly suffering fish to do a microscopic examination. And here you see a part of the skin scraping. You see all little creatures moving around in, in the water. Here we make the magnification a little bit bigger. And you see there are some parasites moving around. You see the necrotic tissue with the bacteria. Some are columnaris bacteria. You can see here at the edge, some tubifex like growths, which is tubifex looking. It's the columnaris uh, bacterial strains, but most important are of course these heavy moving around parasites. Well, let's take another scraping, which we can see more easily, those moving around parasites, which are typical for a type of chylodonella, which is a ciliated one cellular, unicellular parasite, which can luckily be treated if you do it on time. There are some other parasites we could see also during that examination. And it's not always so clear to see that there's some small flagellates moving around. Then you have to go to a higher magnification, like I show here. There's some small flagellates here attached to the necrotic tissue. But typically, all those parasites here, the chylodonella, or the destroying the, the fish tissue, the skin, the fins, and causing serious damage to the fish. And also during our observation, we've seen those dark brown parasites. Yes, they are not pigments. Uh, some are looking like pigments. So that's the black uh, spots here. That's pigments here, the black here. But here are the brown ones. See? That's those two brown ones here as shown with a higher magnification. Those are oodinium or velvet disease. And at the same time you see the calotinella parasites moving around. While oodinium is not moving around, it's penetrating and hooked inside uh, the, the scale and of course causing local damage and the risk of bacterial infections. So you can see here the mix of infections. And when we examine the gills, we see all the black spots in here. Those are all oodinium. And you can see here already some damage which occurred to the gill tissue. And that is of course devastating for a fish, like I explained in previous videos, that that of actually the fish will die from. You see some air bubbles, no disease, no parasite. That's a typical air bubble. But all the black spots are odinium, non-moving attached parasites. Here are some loose because I took uh, a tissue and some fall off in my slide. Here you see it at a larger magnification. You see here the odinium attached in between the lamellae and attached in the gill tissue. At the same time, we found melano macrophage centers which develop due to bacterial infection here in the spleen. These are the darker areas. And here also the bleeding uh, liver and melano macrophage. That means the macrophages are defending and, and trying to devour the bacterial infection and then making like clusters. And that's why these dark spots appear. Well, this is typical here in this case for a bacterial infection. It might also be other infections like, like a viral infection, but usually in our aquarium hobby, we find a lot of bacterial infections because of the tropical warm water. 
that you can see in my previous uh, presentations. Well, the barb fasciata, aludaria, is the new name, it's the barb. Well, what you can do is, of course, is, is remove the badly sick fish because they can continue spreading the disease when they're still around in the aquarium and, you're, and it's better to remove them because they can spread the disease and infect the other fish and that's a risk. And you can do that by euthanizing them with Narcomore Plus. First of all, I would start with to suggest to make the suggestion to make a combination treatment of copper sulfate together with formalin and salt, three grams per liter. In my books, I have a formula developed to, to show you how much copper sulfate to put in the formalin or ask your fish doctor. He might know. It's available on the internet. And that helps you uh, to control the oodinium, the velvet disease. But at the same time, that, that formalin and salt and copper sulfate will control the other parasites like Halodonella or if there is any costly or other flagellate parasites available. You also can try to use Odimor, a, a medication from Aquariumster, which also contains for copper sulfate together with salt. Why first Odinium? Well, because the gills are an important organ, and this is usually the cause of the death when fish uh, suffer from such as from parasite infections. When necessary, apply an antibacterial treatment if you, if you see that the fish is, is not getting 100% cured. Well, we've seen it here on this fish with the liver and uh, the spleen already badly damaged. And you can help with a fish food like the Dr. Basilis five by fish food matrine that helps the fish to fight off the parasites. And at the same time, it repairs the fish and also the gut microbiome to develop a good immune system. Well, this I reached my goal already of 100 fish disease cases. So... Follow me on the Patreon. You will see all the cases there and more details on fish disease care. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for being an attended aquarist. That helps to be on top of fish quality control to become a happy hobbyist or a happy businessman when you're dealing with fish. Good luck in your fish care. Thank you for watching.